here we go again. We are going to get started with today's show. And um, so for today's show, I will be taking callers. I will be um, answering your question questions or helping you connect with loved ones on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you to everybody who has uh, joined, up, joined, joined us, us, me and Spirit here today. So grateful to have you here. Um, if you do have a question, you can call in 845-277-9131. The show airs every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. Oh, for a minim min minimum of th of 30 minutes, typically 60, but sometimes 30, depending on everything else that's going on. Also, <clears throat> um, yeah, also, happy Thanksgiving to those of us who celebrate Thanksgiving. It is this week, so if I don't catch you on Wednesday, happy Thanksgiving today. I want to say hello to everybody who has joined me on the chat. Terry and Fawn and Sal, Amy. Hey, Mo. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Heather. Um, yes, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So I am a little bit, um, I, I was going to say this one way, but I'm, I'm going to change the way I was going to say I'm a little bit slow today. I'm a little bit slow every day. My... Um, words are not working today the way they normally do. So let bear with me, everybody. Let's have a little bit of patience through this show. We will get through it together. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am going to um, go back and forth between callers and YouTube chat callers and YouTube chat, and we will get this show uh, done today, and it will be good. <laughs> It'll be funny. It'll be something, right? Okay, the first caller is 708. What's your name and where are you calling from? Patricia, Chicago area. Mm -hmm. Hey, Patricia, how can I help you today? Can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? I'm in a crunch. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Okay. I'm in a moving crunch. Um, my house is being sold. I didn't get extended time to leave. I'm going to look at an apartment um, today. And it's one of the last ones around. Um, the other option I have would be to move in with my sister, which I don't want to do. Um, and I think you only you get like a year lease. They don't let you out of the leases. And I only wanted to do six months. So I'm kind of like all over the place. But would this apartment be a really good decision for me? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, oh, what? Uh, boy, I thought my answers would be a little bit slow today, but they're not. That came flying right out. What I am getting is if you cannot do a three or six month lease, um, even though you don't want to move in with your sister and I get why you don't, I can feel all the reasons why you wouldn't. I, I feel like that might not be the, um, I feel, okay, so this apartment is going to have a lot of strings attached, whatever that means for your situation. There are going to be a lot of strings attached. Now, some apartment complexes will make extenuating such extent. Um, they'll make compromises if, like, let's say you're traveling and you're here for work for this long or something like that. They might compromise on the lease and they'll do like three months or six months over the full year lease, but you have to be very specific about that. Signing a lease in November in the Midwest 
in November or December is like the worst time to sign a lease. You get basically what's left over from <clears throat> everything that didn't rent for the summer and nobody wants to move at this time of the year. So what I would say is um, keep, uh, when do you have to move by? The 25th, um, all boxed up. Okay. Um, I would, if I, okay, let me say it to you this way. Staying with your sister temporarily for um, a couple of months until you find something is going to be less painful than staying in this apartment for a whole year. I know that is not helpful. I know it's not. Um, but that is what I'm getting. Now, if you choose to take the apartment, there will be some circumstances, some some strings attached or some extenuating circumstances that you're really not going to like. And it, you'll, it'll be difficult for you to get out of the lease, even if they were not honest in the beginning about everything um, because you've signed a lease. So what I would say to you is be prepared and really weigh out each option for this. Okay. Okay. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't give you better news about that. I'm so, so sorry. I could not give you better news about that. I really, um, um, but I do feel okay. like, uh, I, 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 yeah, that's all they're they're just going to repeat the same thing again. I'm so sorry, love. But it, okay. now if you do, I will tell you this. If you move in with your sister, it'll be a month between a month and a month and a half and you'll have something else, okay? Something else will open up for you in a month, month and a half. Um and in about in between the two and three month mark, you will be moved. Okay. Now I know that staying with somebody through the holidays, especially, can be challenging, but it's up to you how you decide to um, move forward with this. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry for your prediction. I appreciate your help. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. Absolutely. You know, you don't, you, you don't, you don't get the feeling that they would do a six month though. You can ask. Um, they're of course going to want to pressure you into the year. Um, you can ask them for the six month. They might charge a little bit more per month for the six month. Is what I'm getting. Okay. 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 That would be fine. Okay, excellent. Well, I hope they do that for you then. I I feel like they'll think about it. I really do feel like they will think about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Absolutely, my pleasure. I hope this Thank was you helpful. very much. You are welcome. And I will um, say a little prayer that something opens up for you. As a matter of fact, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, um, that needs a place to stay immediately. Something is coming in. Let's clear that and make sure it's a yes. The perfect place is coming in. Let's clear that and make sure it's a yes and see what happens throughout the throughout the next couple of days. Okay, love? And be open to the other thing okay. I'm hearing is uh, expand your parameters. Be open to moving, um, going into an, um, a little bit further out. Okay, love? Okay. okay. I appreciate your help. Thank you very much. Absolutely. My pleasure. And we please keep us posted and let us know what happens for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. You are Take welcome. Bye-bye. Um, I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 646. 646, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Thank you. Hey, this is uh, Stacy, and I'm calling from New York City. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Stacy. How can I how can I help you today? Yes. So I'm going to be getting some resumes out today. I'm looking for a job. I have my eye on something, and and I'm getting them out. <laughs> Just wanted to see if you see me going on any job interviews uh, in January or December. Okay, I feel like um, the first month I hear is February, but I feel like in February you'll have something locked in. I do feel like it is going to take a little bit of time for you to get this. I do feel like you you do need to put your resumes out now. Although the interview or the hiring process may be slow um, because of all the holidays and having off, I feel like anything you send out now will be looked at, but it will take a minute for everything to come together. Um, I feel like a lot of the interviews will happen the first or second week of December and then into January. But don't let that stall you and keep um, keep note and resend your resend your um, resumes and such. Resend those again because it is holiday time. And people will be out of the office for extended periods of time. So um, you want to make sure that it's at the top of the pile, so to say, or at least they see it twice. Okay. Um, and if they don't respond uh, um, right away at this time, don't don't think that means you didn't get it. It, it might just mean that. Um, it's not right there yet. It's, it's like the person might not be setting up the interviews right now, or they might be, you know, taking their time because of the holiday season. Okay. Um, and do not be nervous about sending, like if you send this week and it's Thanksgiving, obviously send again maybe next week or the week after, just in case it did not, um, just in case it was skipped over because of the holiday season. I'm so sorry about my, 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 my lag in communication. That's just what we're going to call it today, a lag in communication. Okay, love? All right, I'm glad you're telling me. Okay, all right, sounds good. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for calling in and okay. happy Thanksgiving. And um, please keep us posted. Okay, I will. Definitely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye okay. for now. Um, I'm going to go to 661661. What's your name and where are you calling from? Stephanie in Oklahoma. Welcome to the show. How can I help you today? I was wondering if you could connect somebody for me. It would be my grandfather. What's his first See if name? he has a message for me, maybe. Yeah, what's his first name, love? Charles. Charles, okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm he I'm see I'm I'm getting someone that is here for you, but I'm also getting someone that is here for somebody else. So I'm seeing two older men. One of them was a little bit healthy with a bit of a belly. And the other one toward the end was a little bit thinner and frail. So I don't know if this is the same person or if this is two different people. But I know that your grandfather is here. And your grandfather, the first thing that he would want to say, say to you is... Um, it sounds super bizarre, but it's keep in touch, stay in touch, keep in touch, stay in touch. What, what this means when they say this from the other side is it can mean you might know what this means for your personal situation. 
if there's a situation going on in your life where you're debating something, this might be the answer to it. But if it's not, if the other side says, keep in touch, stay in touch, and there's nothing going on in your life that um, is, um, this is about, then what he's saying is keep praying or keep communing, co co communication with, with him, reg keep communication with him, like the, the way you would pray, or just like if you were talking to him driving down the street in your car, um, keep in touch, stay in touch. It's okay. Talk as much as you want to him. He is answering all, everything that you have been concerned about. Those answers and prayers are coming to you. Have patience with time. This is all going to come to fruition or work out. It's all going to fall into place with time. And don't think that you are wait, uh, not wasting, but like, don't think you're being unheard. You're being heard and you're being responded to. Um, one of the things with what, when people like make prayers or ask for answers is the belief that those answers are coming and understanding the answers when they come in. He's really um, letting you know those answers are going to come in in a timely fashion. I feel like there's something that you've been, that you want to know now. Like there's, I don't know if this is you. I hope this is for you. Something you've been like w w trying to figure out or want to know now because the way he is saying it is kind of like just the answer is going to come in the perfect timing. Don't worry. Um, and so that is one of the main things that, that your grandfather is saying. So please know that and please know that he is always near you, always working with you and always helping you. And I don't know, there's, like I said, there are two, two gentlemen here and uh, this particular gentleman, well, one of them was very earthy, very er a very earthy person, and the other one was uh, is is more um, yeah uh, oh like yeah, I, I, here's what I'm gonna say that your grandfather is saying. Um, or the gist of what I'm getting from your grandfather. Patience is going to bring you everything you want. Okay. That's, that would be the exact statement your grandfather would make and want you to know is that patience is going to bring you everything you want. And just be a little bit patient and you are going to get the information or the whatever it is that you are seeking. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it does. Thank you so much. I, I, I You're welcome. And I hope this gives you what you are looking for. And he wants you to know. Okay. So he is showing me something about Christmas and a, I see a flash of a Christmas tree and a small present under it. Now it's not like the it's a it's not like the size of a ring box. It's bigger than that. But it's a small present and this can be and I'm going to say this I might say it wrong. This can be an etheric present. They're showing me an actual form of it, but it could be information, a dream, it could be a spiritual like a spiritual present rather than a physical present. So it might be a message that you receive, an understanding that you receive. And he's showing me the Christmas tree, which means that whatever it is you're seeking, you should get it by Christmas. Okay. That's my understanding. That's my personal understanding. But how, how this shows up for you 
maybe just a little bit different. Okay, love? And he loves you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And he loves you. And he loves you. And he loves you. And you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. I hope that was helpful for you. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. And um, please keep us posted if you're comfortable sharing whatever the gift or the information is. Please call back and let us know, okay? I definitely will. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go over to the chat. Um, please hold on if you're on the call log. Okay, so Terry wants to know, will you find love soon? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I think you're talking about um, a person, um, a, a partner type of person. You're going to meet somebody. Terry, you're going to meet somebody. Hmm, I keep getting the same answer and I keep trying to ask it in a different way to get a different answer. Um, it is soon as far as the, you know, um, it's soon, not as soon as you would maybe like it to be. I feel like this isn't going to be the answer you're looking for. Um, okay. I feel like you're going to meet a series of people. Okay. Not like a, uh, how do I say this? I feel like you're going to meet different people that just aren't going to be quite it. Don't settle. Okay. Um, so let's just say if you meet somebody in January and that person, you know, they're okay, but you start to see the red flags, let that, that person go, um, and enjoy the conversation and maybe be friends, but don't go further. And then again in February, but in March, April is when I feel like you have the potential to meet somebody a little bit more significant. And if you don't meet them in March, April, it's going to be in June. Okay. And sometimes that happens. It depends like um, when we have the opportunity to get out and meet people and be in the environments we need to be to, to, um, connect with the right type of people. It's not just connecting with people. It's connecting with the right type or uh, personality type for us also. And that can come in in many different ways um, or it, at specific places. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm so sorry. My, I'm a little off. Um, in connecting words. I'm just going to keep repeating that and keep apologizing for it. Um, the random person, Heather, Sam is here. And Sam, I feel like is the earthy, might have been the, the uh, Sam is the other male that is here. And Sam is saying, don't, um, don't give up the good fight. Um, but don't fight a battle that's not yours. Um, and you should understand what that means. Um, and don't fight a battle that's not worth winning, which is even more important. Um, everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. Um, we've, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Okay. I hope that's helpful. Um, I really, really hope that's helpful. And now I'm going to go to the next caller who is 904. 904, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Mm. So everybody, it's doing that little wheel turn thing. So it might take a moment for 904 to come on. 904, when it connects, just say hello. Let me see if I can do this and help it like come through. Nope. 
Nope, it's just going to take as long as it takes. And if I go to another caller, it's just going to do the same thing. And this might be something going on in New York because that's where this company is based. 904, I'm going to answer a couple of online questions while we're waiting for you to connect. But please don't hang up. It will hopefully you'll get through. And please, callers online, and just hold on. I will get to you as soon as I can. And I'm sorry for the delay. And if you are on on the phone waiting and we continue to have complications, you can go to YouTube and ask your questions. I'll be happy to answer them there also. And thank you guys for being patient with me today. Okay. Um, Okay, so a lot of people online are looking for love. And I instantly hear that that song, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. An XXX person, um, let me tell you something. You have a lot of um, a lot of moxie coming on and um, doing that. You you don't you don't know who protects who protects people from the other side and what kind of holy heck you might be bringing on to yourself by um, by doing this. So just for your own good and your own karma, stop the shenanigans. You might want to stop your shenanigans. You don't go to a holy site and put unholy crap on it. That's all I'm saying, right? Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Heather. I love my peeps. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for doing that. I have the best, best people in the world. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to try 904 again. I did. I'm not going to give up on you. There we go. 904. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi. What's Hello. Your Hello, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Wendy, Florida. Hey, Wendy, how can I help you today? Hi, I was calling to see, um, do you see me working for myself or finally gaining employment from a company? Because it's been an uphill battle. Okay. I instantly hear both. I feel like as soon as you start working for yourself and get your your thing on track and do what you need to do to do your own thing, other opportunities are going to come in or vice versa. I feel like no matter what, and if you've, if you've ever listened to my show before, 1 million percent, um, I believe everybody should be doing something independently, like as an independent contractor, have your own thing set up, be in control of your own money. And if at the same time you're making money from a company, that is just fine. But we should always be building our own empires. Okay, we can't we can't always Uh depend on other companies. So what I'm going to say is whatever idea that you have for your own thing, you are supposed to um, jump on it and move forward with it. And if something else comes in that's helpful, definitely do that. I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back Wednesday for sure at noon doing a minimum of 30 minutes. Until then, you guys have an amazing week. If I miss you on Wednesday, please have the most amazing Thanksgiving no matter what you do.